My name is Kara Everly, and I voice Weishni and Ruby. And my name is Aaron Zek, and I play Blake Belladonna. How did you first get involved with the series? Was like there a big thing? Okay, we're gonna have you play a gun sword toting chick that destroys everything. Tell us how you got involved. Almost about like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, Monty Ohm, who is had the vision in his head, kind of the creator of the show, came up to me. I happened to be the receptionist at the time four years ago, and he kind of explained the basic general outline and plot. And as production goes, you know, you kind of. Not mad. I was like, that sounds awesome, but I didn't want to get my hopes up because it sounded too good to be true. <laughs> and it turned out that it actually wasn't, and it was true, and it was good. <laughs> yeah. Same with you? Yeah, pretty much. Monty had just needed four girls, and he had us in mind and asked if we wanted to try this, and we all auditioned, and it just happened to work out really well. Now, somebody like me, who's a newcomer to the show, or a noob, I guess you could put it, uh, how would you describe the show? Like crazy, over-the-top action? What would you say? I think there's a little bit of everything. You know, you get the character development from, you know, girls going to a new school to be huntresses and guys there that are gonna be hunters. And basically they get to learn how to fight and use their weapons and it's insane. There's fight scenes, you get to see them grow, you, you get to see you know, stuff that you haven't really seen before in anything. It's kind of a really new concept that I think the audience has really learned to love. And the same with you or? Yeah, I mean, you've got these four girls going to this school and learning to, to fight the bad guys in the real world. And suddenly, it's all cut short. The bad guys come quicker than they expected. And you follow them grow as a person, you follow them growing as a huntress and a hunter, and, and that's the story. Now, the show has actually done really well in the first season, now you're back for season two. Can you give us a hint of what we can expect in the second season? This time I'll start with you. Well, the first season was a lot of exposition. There's a lot of introduction of characters, places, things like that. But now we finally get to venture out into the real world and, and learn more about each of the character and their background and learn more about the world that they're in and not just their own little bubble. And it's very exciting to finally see more action, more, more plot, more characters, more exciting things. Excellent. Uh, how many episodes are in this show? Twelve. Yeah, twelve episodes. Nice. Um, and I see here, to our left, you actually also have figures available, as well as the first uh, Black Ray. It's not Blu-ray, it's Black Ray. Um, what bonus features are on the Black Ray disc? Oh, gosh. you. There are a lot of cast commentary. There's two. There's um, the commentary from the creator and the writers, and then there's the, the lady cast commentary. It's a lot of um, behind-the-scenes stuff with all of the animators and with Bunny and Matt and Miles and Carrie and Monty and... There's also a fun thing that one of the animators is also a voice in um, as one of the characters and he was playing around one night and started singing this little cool little jam and so you get to watch his music video hidden somewhere in there. Yeah. You get to, a lot, you get to see a lot of fun behind the scenes stuff that you wouldn't really realize or think about as far as a viewer and when you get to see it on the DVD you're like wow it actually there's a lot more involved to do it than you think. And how excited are you to see your characters just being made in these awesome anime figures here? I never I never thought I'd be a doll. Craziness! Yeah. We're like, are you kidding me? I think I about had like a heart attack when someone just showed it to me. I was like, <gasps> Yeah, I now have one. We have I have my own my own Blake. And we also have plushies, which is very exciting. We've got our own like little tiny little plushie dolls. Mm -hmm. Those are really cool. little stuffed animal plushies. They're really cool. We just learned about those about you know. TX. Yeah, about they three weeks out. ago they yeah. came out and they're great. And let me guess, you can get these at the Rooster Teeth shop. Absolutely, yes. roosterteeth.com. Great. And the show airs uh, on a weekly basis now. It's actually in its second season now. Um, tell us where we can find it. Roosterteeth.com, um, every Thursday. And uh, the first episode just came out three days ago. So you can watch it there. And you can also see it on YouTube and Crunchyroll. Okay, and last question, and this will be a tough one for you too. Uh, if the Ruby Girls went up against each other in combat, who would win and why? I'll, I'll start with you and then I'll... This is a trick question. <laughs> I know. Because I feel like they've all come together to finally learn to work together, so now they know more about each other. It's harder to fight mm -hmm. each other. We can play off our, we know the, each other's weaknesses yeah. a little bit more now, and we know each other's strengths. So I think it'd be a pretty, it'd be an intense and epic fight, considering we all know what we can do and what we can't do. This would be a forever fight. It'd be one of those fights that never ends because we'd never get tired. It, it would just go on forever. Like a never-ending game of Smash Brothers. Yes. Right, right. Exactly. They're, they're all too, they're all too stubborn and hard-headed to just give up. 
And do you want to give us just a taste of your character's voice, or just a taste? Uh, no, yeah. you know. no, I mean, I can't. Yeah, what, what can I say? Yeah, we can just say it, sure. Uh, what, yeah. Whatever you want to say is fine. Whatever you want to say. Oh my gosh, it's about time that I have my own figurine. I mean, this long and why she finally just now gets a figure? It's about time. I don't know why Blake has one, though. I mean, I feel really honored to have one. Thank you so much. <laughs>